Sessions. What is going on guys? We are back with another video and I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded. And I'm kind of sorry about that. Uh, but I went out fishing. I've caught a fish here. I've caught like one or two fish here and there. And that's really about it. So I didn't think it was anything worth like uploading. And some of you guys might argue that, well, you're a small channel, so upload as much as you can, right? Yeah, true. But I like to put out at least something decent. But yeah, but um, also I guess kind of head reveal, hat reveal, see my big forehead. But uh, as you can tell, we're not at the lake right now. We are on my, actually on my, on my back porch because I got a little bit of surprise for you guys. And kind of part of the reason, geese flying over, sorry. Uh, kind of part of the reason why I haven't been out is because of this. And so I'm going to show you guys a little surprise. So as you can see, this is the boat. This is a 1985 Mark Twain 16 foot outboard with a 90, 90 horsepower Evan Rood pushing it. So, so this is it. This, this is the new boat. This is the new project really. Only reason I got this boat because a family friend uh, was selling it. I've had some bad luck with boats in the past. And so we kind of trust them with this one. And so that's kind of the reason we got it. So this is it guys. This is going to be the fishing boat. And yes, before you guys say anything, yes, I will be continue to fish from the bank. Uh, it's kind of like, that's, that's the roots of me. So that's really what I know. So it's going to be a, a learning curve for me uh, in this right here. But I like it. It's very spacious, solid floor. It just needs some TLC as far as uh, appearance goes. Not the best looking thing, but it'll work for, for now. So the, so the plan is over over the winter time is to make it look nice, to so have it ready for the springtime. So the plans are we're going to, uh, I'm not, sure we're, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the seats yet. We might leave us this little box set up because I like the storage that it provides. But also, I might use a pedestal or a captain's chair, I think it may be called. And so, I may, I may be saying stuff wrong here, guys. I'm not too knowledgeable as far as the terms of boats, boat things go. But so, yeah. Also, if you guys have any ideas, please shoot them in the comments. Let me hear something. Uh, some things, uh, some tips and tricks that you guys have, if you guys have boats, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, fish finders, one thing. I'm looking to get a nice fish finder around the four to $500 range. I'm not trying to get nothing expensive for catfish in here. We're not looking for big schools of fish in the middle of the ocean. I don't need the top of the line thing. So if you got any good fish finders, that you know that you have uh, used and or have seen or whatever, let me know in the comments. Uh, as far as carpeting go, we're replacing all the carpet, and we're just gonna do a whole re uh, remake over in here. You already know the color schemes, black and red, like my channel. Uh, we're gonna need a new trolling motor, but let me kind of show you guys a little bit, and I'll show you what's behind you guys a little bit too. So this is kind of the interior of it. We have this trolling motor that came with it. They, they say it works, but like the cable line uh, froze or seized up, so it won't turn left and right, but it'll turn on and go forward, backwards, and all that fun stuff. But here's the boxes I was telling you guys about. It just doesn't look that great. I mean, the function part of it's amazing, but aesthetically, it does not look great. And yes, we took it out one time, but mainly just to stretch the legs out of it. Um, as you can see over here, it's kind of like some bare, bare uh, plastic, I guess you would call that. The front seats look pretty good as far as the leather and stuff that goes, but we're still re going to replace all that. Place these seats, we're going to have new leather and everything. So, I can't wait for it. There's going to be a lot of project videos as over the winter. Try to give you, try to give you guys some content. I'm going to try to get out. I'm going to try and get out to do some type of fishing, whether that be trout or catfishing, 
but I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't really done a lot of fishing in the winter. Usually I just call it quits until the springtime come, comes around again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get you guys something, whether that be product reviews, uh, boat content, as far as fixing it up. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out a few more times in the boat before the season's completely over, before I uh, put it away. And so that, that's kind of the, where I'm at with this right now. So we got a few things to get done with this boat. I'm excited for it and I hope you guys are too. And this is rod rock that my dad and I made. It has six, um, six monster rod holders on here that I picked up off of a, a Facebook uh, page, I guess you can call it. It's Catfish in Kansas, so picked them up from a guy over there. They look nice. I'm uh, ready to test them out, ready to test this out. Because all the ones I've seen online, stuff like that, made of metal and blah, blah, blah. And there's just this real tough, sturdy stuff. But we want to try to keep it as light as possible just because the motor's not that big. And so we didn't want to have it pushing too much weight. Because we still like to go tubing in this or whatever. So we're trying to keep the weight as weight down as much as possible. So first idea was just use plexiglass as the whole structure. But then it was a little bit flimsy in the middle. And so we wanted something to try to keep to take away that flex. So we put a piece of wood in there and that kind of really sturdied it up. I mean, in the middle is a little bit flex, but the sides, that's rock solid. So maybe in the future we might add a piece there to just trying to uh, get a little bit sturdier. And then this little middle section, I'm going to use that for cutting bait. And that's really about it. Only thing we have left to do on this one is just stain the wood. And so that way it just looks a little bit, a little bit better. I'm we'll probably do like a dark color, just to make the appearance look a little bit better on it. But as far as it goes, guys, that is, that is really it. That is really it, guys. So like, like I said before, if you guys have any ideas, any suggestions, uh, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And sorry for the long delay between videos it's just i didn't want to put on any, anything that i didn't like that i personally wouldn't watch so that's the main reason hope you guys can respect that but uh, I'm, I'm i'm excited for this journey on this boat to learn and everything that comes with it so until next time guys,